Hello everyone, it's Miss Siobhan. I miss you so much. Today I'm going to read you a story, The Red Chalk. Sarah was bored. The sidewalk was too bumpy to draw on with red chalk. None of her pictures turned out right. She was about to throw her chalk away when she saw Tim on the other side of the street playing with some marbles. That looks like fun, Sarah thought. Tim, she said, look, this is magic chalk. Everything you draw with will come to life. Do you want to trade for your marbles? Sure, Tim said. He drew a dragon right away. And there's Tim with the dragon. Sarah clicked the marbles together. Then she tried rolling them on the sidewalk. The marbles went in all different directions. What a pity, Sarah thought. They are no fun at all. She ran off to the beach. When she found Sam, Sam had a bright red lollipop. Mmm, I really would like that lollipop, Sarah thought. I have something special to show you, Sarah said. These are real pearls from the ocean. She held out the marbles. Will you trade for your lollipop? I'd love to, Sarah replied. Sarah put the lollipop in her mouth. But she took it out right away. Yuck, cherry flavor. I don't like cherry. She ran through the meadow until she saw Rob. A yo-yo danced on his finger. Wow, Sarah thought, I wish I had one of those. Rob, Sarah said, look what I have. If you lick this lollipop, you will become a genius. Will you trade for your yo-yo? Yes, Rob said, licking the lollipop. I will invent a spaceship and fly to the moon. And there's the spaceship that Rob invented. Sarah ran off with her yo-yo. She rolled it down, but couldn't get it up get it to go up. She tried again and again. This yo-yo is broken, Sarah thought with disappointment. She walked up the hill until she heard some music. Matilda was blowing a flute. Wow, that sounds so nice, Sarah said. Look, Matilda, this is a wishing yo-yo. Every time you roll it up, you can make a wish. Will you trade for your flute? Sure, Matilda said. I will wish for a pet rabbit and a new bike. There's Matilda on her new bike with her pet rabbit. Sarah blew the flute. A funny noise came out. She blew it again, heard it first, then softly. But she couldn't get it right. This flute is out of tune, she said. Sarah walked until she found Ben playing hopscotch. I would love to try that, Sarah thought. Ben, if you blow this whistle, all of the mice in town will follow you wherever you go. Will you trade for your hopscotch board? Sure, I'd like to see that, Ben said. He walked away playing the flute. And look, there's all the mice following him. Sarah threw the hopscotch stone onto the first square. She was just about to jump when she felt a drop on her nose and another and another. Rain, she yelled. She ran off quickly to seek shelter. When the rain was gone, Sarah returned. What good is an invisible hopscotch board, she moaned. Then she heard a whistle. Ben was running back. I forgot to give you this, he said. Now you can make a new one anytime you want. Sarah looked in her hand, the red chalk. A hopscotch board doesn't have to be perfect, Sarah thought. She drew a giant one and invited all of her friends. The end. I hope you all enjoyed one of my favorite stories, The Red Chalk.